Well, and next tonight, the Liberal Democrat leader, Sir Ed Davey, has promised that his party will act as constructive opposition, even in Yorkshire, where they have just only one MP. But with the Labour government announcing spending cuts, how much difference can they really make? Well, our political correspondent, Charampreet Kera, is live for us in Brighton tonight to try to answer that question. Charampreet. Well, Ian, with the sun shining here in Brighton, it feels as if anything is possible, especially for the Liberal Democrats celebrating a bumper crop of 72 new MPs, including one in Yorkshire, Tom Gordon in Harrogate and Knaresborough. Of course, the Liberal Democrat leader, Sir Ed Davey, wasted no time frolicking in the sunshine, beaming that his party is at the top of its game. But there is a dark cloud hanging over the conference season, the doom and gloom of the country's finances, according to the Labour Party and the cuts that seem like an inevitable result. Now, the Liberal Democrats say that there'll be a constructive opposition to Labour, but they'll have to straddle a fine line, because in the past their attacks have always focused on the Conservatives. So when Rachel Reeves said that she'd found a £22 billion black hole in the country's finances, the Liberal Democrats actually joined her in criticising the Tories for that. The problem is that raises questions about the validity of the spending plans that they're announcing at this conference. If you don't invest in our NHS, you'll, you won't find the economy coming back. There are lots of people who are waiting for treatment, waiting to see the GP, waiting on a hospital waiting list, who when they are treated can go back to work. Uh, they can start earning money, they can start paying taxes. So I think you have to see an investor save approach to the NHS. But as well as reforming the NHS, your party wants universal free school meals, winter fuel payments, the two-child benefit cap to be scrapped. Surely all of that isn't realistic? It is if you take the measures that we put forward in the general election. So in right, the I general election, your manifesto was based on the OBR's figures from March. They couldn't have taken into account the £22 billion black hole that Labour has found since. Well, a lot of the measures that we will take will actually help the economy grow. That's so, so important. Well, John Pri, Ed Davey seems pretty sure, but the Liberal Democrat spending plans, are they realistic, do you think? Ian, their costings in, are based on their uh, general election manifesto, which was written at a time when we didn't know about this £22 billion black hole. If, as they do, you believe that Labour has since found that shortfall, it's hard to see how their spending plans actually add up. A week ago, it was the Green Party's party conference, and the co-leader, Carla Denya, said that she shared those concerns about winter fuel payments. On the face of it, means testing might sound like a good idea, make sure it only goes to the people who need it. The trouble is the, the level is set so low that this will still cause real suffering for many people on incredibly low incomes. The problem for all opposition parties is that the size of Labour's majority is so vast. So the Liberal Democrats really have their work cut out for them to have their voices heard at this conference. Sharon Preet live in Brighton for us on the south coast there. Enjoy the sunshine. What's left of it this evening? Thanks very much for the update.